moment. A clowning performance in Liverpool. She's actually going to come through rivals in a minute. <laughs> Biggest shock of her life, won't it? I bet it will be as well. <laughs> The bank to get interest. And staff get a crash course in customer care. BA have been more than helpful. And it's the last time I'll fly EasyJet. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. John Lennon Airport, Liverpool. Each day, 5,000 people pass through. But for one, flying is the last thing on his mind. Simon Whiteford has turned up to meet his girlfriend, Helen, who's flying in from Geneva. Hi. Hi there. Could tell me what her time the actual flight is due in from uh, Switzerland, please? Geneva. In Geneva, yeah, please, yeah. From Geneva. Yeah, the flight's due in 16.51. Right, OK. Whereabouts is arrivals, please? Arrivals, just down the bottom. Just right, right, down, right, down, more, right, right down there. Right down, yeah. So just keep walking, I'll see you Yeah. OK. Yeah. Uh, is there anywhere around there I can get changed? Changed? Yeah. There's under toilets down, just down by the phones. It's over there. Oh, yeah, I can see them, yeah. And I know it sounds a silly question, but has anybody got a mirror I can borrow by any chance, please? A mirror? A mirror, yeah, please. Change I'll bring it back, mirror. I promise. Wait, you getting changed in. Getting changed in. Uh, you'll see soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. OK, bye. Thank you. For Simon, it's one of the most important days of his life, and one girlfriend Helen is unlikely ever to forget. She's always collected clowns since she was about ten years of age, and she's got some really expensive ones and some, and some, really, some really, really nice ones. And she's just always said, you know, if, if, if she ever gets married, actually married, then she really, really wants somebody to be really, really surprised. I thought, what a surprise this is. So I'm actually going to uh, propose to my girlfriend as she, as she comes through her yeah, arrivals, and she's not expecting it at all. Despite living 800 miles apart, Simon and Helen have seen each other every weekend for the past seven months. Actually, I met her in Geneva. My actual brother works in Geneva, and he actually works with her. So that's how I met her. And, uh, we've seen each other every single weekend. I officially either laugh or cry. I don't know. Uh, I think I think she'll be very very shocked. But wouldn't anybody? Be, I mean, who would expect when you get off a plane and somebody stands there in a dr dressed in an outfit with loads of people around you asking you to marry them? It's a little bit unique, isn't it? No, it's convicted. It I need. Okay, what? listen, I'm ill. I have a, an appointment tomorrow to, to the hospital. I can't, I can't we believe can't. it. No, it's at 7 35. It's 7 o'clock. Don't tell me it's too late. French student Sonia Warre is heading for Paris. Earlier this morning, she went to Heathrow by mistake. She's just spent £50 on a taxi fare to get to Luton, but could still miss her flight. <sighs> is Nice any good to you? Nice, I'm living in Paris. Okay. When when you've calmed down, I'm, I'm happy to talk to you. 7:35, please. It's not too we late. It is too I late. can't. It's not possible. I came to Heathrow from here by taxi. Don't tell me I can me get I can get you to Nice or Paris in the morning. I can't. I have to go now. You don't understand. I mean, I have to go to the hospital at nine o'clock. Well, there's nothing else that we can do for you. Did you plan fly or is yours not? Tell me yes or no. Very boarded. The aircraft's on schedule. 7:35. If you if you join the queue and then we'll transfer no, you. No, you look. You you are wasting. You're not going to get that plane now. I'm sorry. One moment. The waterworks aren't having any effect on EasyJet supervisor Leo Jones. With his transformation complete, Simon's off to spring the biggest surprise of his girlfriend's life. Hello. Uh, there's your vanity move. I did. I didn't need it, thanks. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm proposing to my girlfriend, actually. She's actually going to come through rivals in a minute. Sh biggest shock of her life, won't it? I bet it will be as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
the question is, will Helen even recognise him? A bit nervous. I hope she says yes. <laughs> I don't just say no. <laughs> I think her face will be a good picture, actually. She'd be really funny. As the last of the Geneva passengers file past, there's still no sign of Helen. And the strain's beginning to show. No, it's not too late. The plane is flying at 7.35, not 7 o'clock. All right, mate, cheers. I'm pretty good. <laughs> OK, so... Uh, listen, I... <laughs> Sorry, mate. The tears are still flowing, but Sonia's going nowhere. <laughs> you need to be here at least 40 minutes before. I know, it's not my fault. I explain you why. I yeah. went to the bus and it didn't... Hmm? I want to speak okay, with someone else. I don't want to speak with him anymore. Yeah, man, if I'm a I will get someone to speak to Leo's called one of his bosses to try and calm Sonia down. Uh, he'll be down in about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, of course, 15, 20 minutes. But... And you are not ashamed to tell me this now? And there is a, a, a plane anyway, to Paris for tonight. Nothing. Nice. Nice. Is nice any good to you? Nice. Nice. Do you know where it's nice from Paris? There you go. Okay. okay. The tears haven't worked and neither have the tantrums. Sonia's conceded defeat and transfers onto tomorrow's flight. He didn't want even to listen to me. He didn't, he didn't listen to me. He, he said that. OK, th what he has to say, I think sometimes we have to do some exception. I told him that I have an appointment tomorrow to the hospital. He didn't give a Couldn't help her at all, did my best, gave her the option. She weren't having any of it. And I hope now she's in bed thinking, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Probably not. Probably got my picture up on a dartboard in her room or something. <laughs> Crazy. So for now, Leo braces himself for another showdown when Sonia returns tomorrow. Back at arrivals and Simon's audience is growing, but Helen's still nowhere to be seen. Getting a bit nervous now. <laughs> at last she's arrived, and so has Simon's big moment. I am going to kill you. <laughs> Hello, darling. I've got a question. I've got a question for you. I don't marry you. Will you marry me? Yes. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> With the clowning over, it's now all beginning to sink in for Simon and Helen. I had no idea he was going to ask me at all. I knew I was getting a surprise, but I thought it was getting taken out for dinner somewhere nice. The last thing I was expecting was to be faced with that when I got off the plane. When she walked through the arrivals door uh, and actually, actually dropped on one knee after blowing the horn twice, I was thinking, oh, I hope she says yes. There's 200 people watching here and I hope she says yes. But deep down I knew she was going to say yes. I, I just really knew it. I had a good feeling. So, yeah, it was, it was just amazing. It was an amazing day. He never ceases to amaze me. He's always surprising me, but I think that just tops everything. <laughs> Early morning at Luton. After yesterday's outburst, Sonia's back and battle-hardened Leo's worried there's more to come. The lady that we had here yesterday evening, uh, she wasn't at all happy because she turned up late for a flight, she missed it. Sometimes when you tell passengers, sorry, you are too late, we'll get you on the next one, they're like, OK, that's fine, that's my fault. She was nothing like it. Went absolutely mental. Unfortunately for Leo, it looks like he's just been spotted. Hello. Hello. Yeah, to Paris. Sorry? No, you wait here, you still need to queue. Yeah, hiya. Uh, hello, I just want to apologise for yesterday because I said... Oh, you had missed it, didn't you, yesterday? Oh, you didn't. That's all right, that's yeah. okay. okay. No problem. So you're all right for today, yeah? Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, 
It's not often you get that. I've got, got an apology. But like, I want to say sorry now. <laughs> oh, it's really, really nice. I think I might get her pre boarded. Sarah, can you put this lady down as a pre board? <laughs> For us. Keep an on the screen and you get numbers on there. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Last night I've been thinking about all what I said and I said some few things really bad, so I just wanted to apologize. I'm glad it's all happy, happy ended now. And I can go on with a smile on my face. At EasyJet new base in Bristol, passengers have started arriving for the Nice flight only to discover it was cancelled yesterday. We, you know, I looked on the email specifically last night and there was nothing in. Robert Holdsworth has just driven 80 miles from his house in Worcester. According to him, he was never told of the cancellation. Well, it's not easy jets. It's easy jets control. It's air traffic in France that's put the strike on. But, I mean, can't we go the second out. time easy yeah, jet you of can. not Yeah, you can. It's Saturday. A strike by French air traffic control staff means all flights to France from Bristol have been grounded, leaving Mr Holdsworth stranded and frustrated. Well, they put it on the website last night when they found out about it. And it's, it's all last on the night news. it was on the news. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's out of everybody's control, but we're doing what we can and what we can offer. Because everybody's in the same situation. The earliest we've got looking at so far is going to be Saturday. Yesterday, I, I clicked on, on our... Sky News, and it said that uh, the French air traffic controllers or something were. Uh... So I went upstairs and I clicked onto the email to see if this lot had eaten nothing. You know, lo and behold, the flight's cancelled. EasyJet are not the world's best for <laughs> informing people. They said there's nothing going out till, till Saturday. We were booked to come back on Tuesday. You know, good old EasyJet and the good old French. We've obviously had a few passengers that turned out not aware of the strikes, even though it's been advertised all over the news. We've got it on our website, it's all over the internet, it's on teletext. So all passengers are aware of it, but we've obviously had a few stroppy passengers that aren't very happy. But with a weekend break still at stake, he's not giving up. Everybody's on yeah, but we just checked in on time. It's on board that aircraft. It's half an hour now before it's and we doesn't take half an hour for us to get on the flight. Rosanna Aldea and her husband Luigi have missed check-in. It could cost her a final farewell to her father in Italy. My daddy just died. I need to go to the airport, sir. Uh, to the airport to Italy um, for the funeral tomorrow morning. And they just said, the next 10 minutes already closed. Okay, I can't get on. Can you ask somebody? I can't ask. The aircraft is fully boarded, the doors are closed. I but we're wasting ask. time here. We've been waiting five minutes already. We could have been on We could have been on there. But it's just two of us. We just, look, I'm not going on holiday. My dad just died. And I want to be there. Adrian? A relieved Lisa has been called away leaving colleague Adrian to sort things out. The um, flight Lisa's is left with, that's a 7 o'clock flight in the morning. That's the next flight going out to Nice. 7 o'clock in the morning. That's I the next go flight going morning. out. It's the only option you've got, I'm afraid, if you want to get to Nice. I've got a 7 o'clock for us in the morning. We will get there too late, it can all be done. The only thing is I wanted to see my dad before the very Yeah, day. I understand that. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to stop. Huh? Well, it's 200 pounds for nothing. We're not going on holiday, we, we're just going well, for an emergency. For 14 minutes, I can't go to seven I mean, the flight, the, the plane has not look, gone yet. Time's time's it doesn't, yeah, but it doesn't take long to do a check-in for us. I mean, we don't have anything. I mean, we, we just got all over. Yeah, unfortunately, it's too late. I don't believe that the air is closed at this time, eh? Can we have the money back then? I mean, for me, it's no point to go to Italy. Well, off the funeral. The only thing is that I wanted to go. It was just to see my dad. Feel free to write into our customer services and make an individual claim. If no, you mean service. not only I'm going to be so upset not to see my dad and also losing two hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Is that it? But if you yeah. decide not to travel, then yes. Well, it's you that made me uh, stopping me to go on the on the on the flight because I'm here. I never I never fly no more for this comp. I put it in the pipe. Oh, I, I put it right in the pipe. I put it right in the pipe. This company. I can't put it in the pipe tomorrow. He's a jet of s. Yeah. I took two. I don't care. 
With her father's funeral just 12 hours away, Rosanna isn't about to throw in the towel. Is anybody higher than you that we could talk to? Uh, there's nobody available at the moment to talk to. Certainly not. I know the supervisor is dealing with another incident elsewhere. The flight's now boarded, and Rosanna's only hope is if dispatch makes an exception. Now you said I've got to pay. Yeah, that's to transfer you to a different flight to, on a different day to Nice, not to a different destination. Robert Holdsworth has come up with a plan to rescue his niece trip. He wants to fly to Geneva and then drive the rest of the way. But there's a price to pay. And how much extra are you going to squeeze out of us for? £115 each. £115 each? £115 each? That'd be ridiculous. No. Offer us an alternative. No, it, you know, it should be a free one. If they said they'll, they'll offer you alternative flights, they don't. I've just been told I've got to pay extra. But he's had enough and demands his money back. You need to put, uh, do it over the internet. Or on the call centre. Or via the call centre. We can actually... It's an easy cop-out. You just sit behind the desk, and I know it's not entirely your fault, but it's an easy cop-out. Do it over the internet. Try again tomorrow. You know, you've got to pay extra. We're not authorised... Easy jet, get the money from the passengers up front. They put it in the bank, they get interest. And then they're not prepared to bend over to help people. BA have been more than helpful. And it's the last time I fly easy jet. Unfortunately, I mean, it's the only I know way... it's not your fault, but it's easy jet. It's about time... The board of EasyJet got the backside down and said, why aren't we keeping the happy the customers happy? Because they're not. They've got to do it through the internet. Oh, okay. Mr. Gatwick. Huh? You're right. Yeah. VA. EasyJet <laughs> had to cancel the flights to Nice. I know it's not their fault. And now they say they will offer us a refund or an alternative flight. So I've said, what's alternative flight? They've offered me an alternative flight to Geneva, but I've got to pay extra money. It's, no, it's not offering me an alternative, it's, it's double charging us. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yes. Thank you very much. Back at the Luton sales desk, the Aldeas are about to discover whether they've made it onto the flight. That's cool. Did you try to talk to somebody? Oh, cool. um, unfortunately, they can't accept you. It's too late. Yeah. I spent half an hour talking to you. Right. I spent half, half an hour spent. Unfortunately, he wasn't here on time. Well, but my dad I mean, didn't time. give me the time when he was dying, was it? Unfortunately. So I, I tried to do the tickets and I came straight here. So why was she late? The motorway is because it's on the, the motorway. Okay. I don't leave. Well, I mean, the West it's Midlands. Not, it's not EastJet's fault that the motorway was like a traffic jam on there and it was busy. Well, yeah. Instead of doing all this chatting and everything, yeah. if it we could have gone straight over. Yeah, the hotel will give you the invite. It doesn't take us half an hour to get on the plane. If we lose our stop, we could wait two or three hours for another slot to take off, which means we're Delay everybody else who got here on time. They wouldn't get home. I don't believe that. We need to travel late about two, two, two hours. Yeah, if we lose our slot, no. there's lots of traffic up in the air. It's like the no, M1. No traffic in the air. Of course there is. There's lots of traffic. No, it's a white for, right for the people. No, it's I'm not the people. Well, there's lots of traffic up in the sky, sir. Yeah. It's, like a flight, it's like a motorway. What am I asking you? Can you do something? There's a lot of motorway in there. I went away for three people like, a couple of weeks ago. But it's not our fault, sir. It's your fault for arriving late. Come on, I know you're waiting. I do feel sorry that it's your father's funeral. I'm spending another £200. Well, sir, you've got to realise that it's not EasyJet's fault. You're not prepared to listen. You're not prepared to... I'll tell you, he's in last, last, last chance for this. You're not prepared to listen. 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 You're not one thing I would say, well, okay, it's our fault, no, fine. Course, but when somebody no, dies, the way, traffic. But when somebody dies, it doesn't tell you, look, I'm intending to die now, so get the provision to come here. All I could do is offer him a flight for tomorrow morning. I'm not very happy with that. I'm not very happy that we can't get him onto the flight tonight because of the circumstances surrounding why they've got to go to Nice. But I've explained to him it's not our fault that they got held up on the motorway. With their flight transferred to tomorrow, the Aldeas face an uncomfortable night at the airport and can only hope they make it in time for the funeral. Mr Holdsworth eventually made it to Nice via Eurostar. Simon's surprise proposal paid off and the couple planned to marry within a year. And Rosanna did make it to her father's funeral after a family decision to delay the service by two hours. Next time on Airline, the King lands in Liverpool. That's it, man. Hey, he's good. I, I, I got a young pretender here.
A mini me. What do you want me to do now? X rated language in Luton? Yeah. Don't walk away from me while I'm talking to you. Right. And a new love for Leo. He actually fancies her, he's got a secret confession. Nah. I think he's yeah. sort of in love with her. <laughs> At 10 tonight over on Nat Geo, Tony Robinson's going for gold as he hunts down hidden treasures in the birth of Britain. Keep it three for the time being, however, because we've got more airline on the way for you next.